Why, hello there everybody. How are you doing today? It's me, again. And again, I'm here to bring you yet another update on my situation. And today's update is like all previous updates. I'm here to say that my phone has not rung. And then I emphasize, yet, because my phone is going to ring. In case you haven't caught on, in case you've been living underneath a rock somewhere, in case you've had your head stuck in the sand, accountability's here. More and more people every day are waking up and realizing that they have been lied to. Now this is scaring the fakes, the frauds, and counterfeits. Because you see, there's a huge difference. And I need to make this point perfectly clear. Because this is what is hindering justice from taking place. There is a huge difference between you lying as a private citizen, you fibbing about something, whether it be about anything, then, uh, uh, or let's just say you, you lie uh, saying that you know something. Because that's the most common lie. The most common lie is, oh, you know exactly what's going to happen, when the reality is you don't have a clue as to what's going to go on. You're just parroting out other information. Okay? Now, what happens when it's found out that you were lying or fibbing, spoke out of context, spoke out of whatever? Well, nothing. You just get embarrassed. That's all. You get outed for being a liar. However, when anyone who has taken an oath, when they lie, they are committing a felony. They are committing a criminal act because, hello, they have taken an oath to basically tell the truth, to uphold the law, not to lie, to tell the truth. And folks, when you take that oath, uh, there is no time when you are never not under, underneath that oath or under the oath. Don't believe me? Ask any military person. Ask any military person who, that was sworn in and took the oath uh, uh, of service. They'll tell you. That oath is until the day they die. Same thing for a political office. Same thing for law enforcement. Same thing for judges. So when they lie, even on the weekends, they are committing crimes. Now, when they, or should I say, they're, they're, committing, they're committing a criminal act if they lie during the performance of their, of their official office duties. Okay? So, just to keep it simple, if a police officer lies about something personal in, in his or her life, well, they'll just be outed for being a, you know, a liar. That's not a criminal act. But if a police officer lies, meaning they see a crime, and they fail to report or do something or enforce the law, because, hello, that's what their name is. That what their, 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 their job description is in their job title. They are law enforcement. They have taken an, or, an oath to enforce the law. Well, as soon as they choose to overlook a criminal act. Now, I'm not talking about something small. I'm not talking about speeding. I'm not talking about not coming to a full stop at a stop sign. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, any, something trivial. I'm talking about something big, something major. Like, oh, I don't know, um, obstruction of justice. How about that? When they are willing to overlook that, that is a crime. They are committing a criminal act. Same thing, same thing with a senator, same thing with a congressman, same thing with a city council member, same thing with a mayor. As soon as they deliberately and intentionally do something, that they know that they do not have the authority to do, yet claim to have the authority to do it. They're lying. 
they're using their office to simply rule, bear rule over, over we, you, me, we, the people. When it is you, me, we, the law-abiding citizens of this great country who are in charge. So again, just to keep it simple, it's, it's when you lie as a citizen, when you have a personal lie, something that does not affect others, that's not a crime. However, when law enforcement officers, when, when people who have taken an oath, judges, attorneys, overlook, over, choose to overlook something, they are lying to themselves, they are lying to the truth, they are lying to you, me, we, the people, and letting crimin, criminal, criminality slide. They're not doing their job, and that is a criminal act. So says the law. And what more and more people across the United States of America are waking up and realizing is that their guy, their gal, has been lying to them. Plain and simple. They have been lying to you. Me. We. The people. All of this mess just didn't start up as, because, as soon as President Trump took office. But the reason why it hasn't stopped is because, well, President Trump took office. And in one of President Trump's speeches, he said, I refuse to overlook. And it's all coming to a head now. Everywhere. That's why California is coming to a head. That's why Washington, D.C. is coming to a head. That's why even my situation right here in Jacksonville, Florida is coming to a head. Watch. It's only a matter of time before we start seeing some cuffing and stuffing. Why? Because the truth is the undefeated, undisputed champion of all times. The truth is clear in the field. Almighty, This is a move of Almighty God. Plain and simple. And you cannot, you cannot profess to be a, a minister of Almighty God, which Christian... Go read Romans chapter 13... That's what, the, that's, what, that's what every authority is professing to be. You cannot be a minister of Almighty God and lie. So says the law, because so says the word of Almighty God, because so says Almighty God. Again, Christian, read the book. Well, we're tired of being lied to. We're tired of overlooking. We're tired of the deadlock. We're tired of the bullying. Because that's the only thing. We're tired of the covering up. Of the covering up. We are tired of the death and destruction that comes from all the lying, from all the criminality. And now it's come to a point where they have lied so many times. They, ha they have created their own paradoxical situation, meaning they have gotten caught in their own paradoxical sit situation their own catch-22. They do not want to resolve it because in order to resolve it means the problem must be removed and they are the problem. You see, again, a paradoxical situation is a problem that, that whose only solution is is that the problem didn't exist. Well, the problem that we have in this country is all of the, just to keep it simple, lying that goes on on a daily basis throughout all levels of our government, throughout all levels of our law enforcement. And what we're re waking up and realizing is, is that your guy, your gal, has known about all these problems and has chosen to overlook. They have chosen to, to violate their own oath. And now we, the people, are demanding that the laws be enforced. Don't you all remember drain the swamp? Well, look at this. The swamp is being drained. The reason why these people have chosen not to run again for Congress, no, they haven't been bought out. They were bought out, they would just sit there. They're trying to escape accountability. You can't escape accountability. Finally, finally, 
we're get we're getting some movement on the appointment of President Trump's uh, cabinet because well you they haven't been able to stop the truth plain and simple these people have run out of they have run out of road now they have to explain what took them so long why what has taken so long why did you not do something about this again I go back to President Trump President Trump was talking about uh, uh, North Korea and he said uh, this should have been why did it take so long this should have been taken care of years ago long before I came into office and he's right it's time to start doing it's time for you all to explain now the only thing that you all have explained to us is that you all are incapable of fulfilling your oath you all are incapable of being truthful and being honest with us law-abiding citizens now law-abiding citizen what are you gonna do about it what are they gonna do lie about you that's all they can do they've got to explain why has it taken so long for them to do something why has why does it take hundreds of thousands of phone calls to to the to the uh, switchboard for them for the Senate for the Congress to take action why that's what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to they're supposed to solve problems not create problems now you're seeing exactly it's not just the Democrats who are obstructionists we've got our own obstructionists in the Republican Party meaning we don't have a two-party system we've got a uniparty things it's time to change some things it's time to get out it's time to remove the threats those people are threats because again when you lie as a private citizen when you commit a personal lie the only person that you're hurting is yourself when officials when officials when those who have taken an oath when they lie people die when they choose to overlook when they choose to to not do when they choose to not uphold the Constitution of the United States of America which is the highest law of the land 17 kids down in South Florida get murdered that's what happens an eight-year-old little girl from Jacksonville Florida gets kidnapped raped and murdered is what happens and the only ones that they have to blame is themselves now you tell me who's the bigger threat Joe Blow lying about a bowling score or some fake fraud counterfeit overlooking criminal act action just to be a fake and a fraud and a counterfeit just to try to bully and intimidate somebody you tell me who's the real threat no it's time for you to 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 make up your mind what camp are you gonna be in are you gonna be the in the overlooking camp or are you gonna be in the accountability camp you better make up your mind real quick because this is coming to a head this is over and done with it's only a matter of time before the cuffing and the stuffing starts and that my friend is the truth just saying